I'm going to split this video up into three parts. The first one is going to be the history as well as the mechanism of action of GLP-1 RAs glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists. The second part is going to be some obvious information about alcohol. The third part is going to be my speculation on how these medications interact and could potentially make your weight loss worse. So let's talk about the history, let's talk about the mechanism of action. The history of these GLP-1 receptor agonists is that they were originally developed for people with diabetes. It basically works in a lot of different ways, which we'll get into, to lower blood sugar, help you lose weight, and control your actual blood glucose, your insulin, which is you know basically one of the hallmarks of, of dealing with diabetic issues. That's why they were developed and they were originally kind of clunky and took a whole bunch of injections. So there were certain GLP-1 RAs you had to inject twice a day, but the technology has since developed to the point where the half-life is long enough that a lot of these medications you just have to inject once per week. They work in a couple different ways, related, but not entirely the same. They work first and foremost on the pancreas to have a smooth insulin re release. So it's not gonna be like a huge drop in blood sugar. There's a low chance of hypoglycemic events. You're basically just leveling out that blood glucose because it's a nice smooth insulin release. It works on the gastrointestinal tract by slowing down gastric emptying. Basically the food that you put in your mouth and one end it takes longer to get to the other end so you're going to feel fuller longer and it's also going to again slow down digestion it's going to have a smoother release of that glucose from the food that you've consumed it also works on your central nervous system in ways we don't entirely understand but i can tell you for sure that it does work on your cravings so i can say that and i'll link the full video at the end of this video i have done terzepatide, which is a GLP-1 receptor agonist. And I can tell you for sure, I took my first shot Sunday night, I woke up Monday morning, I had zero nicotine craving. So it's definitely doing something in the habit center, the craving center of your brain that we don't totally understand now. And I'm here to tell you that it absolutely works on that. And I do think it works on all of these systems. So again, I have the full length video at the end of this video, but I definitely noticed that my digestion slowed down. Um, I was definitely constipated while on this medication. Like I said, it worked on my brain. I had very little nicotine cravings, almost none the day after a shot. And it also, I noticed that it kind of smoothed out the kind of spike and crash I'd have after a big meal. So I, I do think it did something to the pancreas, but that's just my anecdotal experience. Um, I also own Steel Health and Hormone Center, which is an HRT clinic and medical weight loss clinic located just east of Pittsburgh. And that seems to be the experience that a lot of our clients have too. It seems to basically quiet what I call food noise. So people aren't hyper aware of the food in their house. It does slow down digestion and it does basically make everything smoother after a meal. That's my experience. That's our patient's experience here. And it works. We've used these medications very successfully to help people lose up over 30 pounds. I mean, this can be serious, especially if coupled with optimizing your hormones, eating for your goals, and exercising. I mean, Steel Health and Hormone Center is in my gym, so we obviously encourage exercise while doing this medication. Now that we understand how the medication works, let's talk about some very obvious things about alcohol that you may have experienced yourself. If you're somebody that drinks or has been drunk, then you probably know this just uh, anecdotally. But when you drink, your inhibitions are lowered. So you may have done something, said something, or eaten something that you shouldn't have when you're under the influence of alcohol that your higher self, your sober self, wouldn't have had you do. The second thing, and this is less obvious, maybe isn't something that you feel, but if you're diabetic, maybe you do. Let's say you drink a lot of alcohol, you start to get like almost that hypoglycemic, kind of clammy, kind of like almost hungry, shaky kind of feeling. That can occur as well in some people when they consume alcohol. And then lastly, think about how you consume alcohol. It's almost synonymous with liquid. You're probably drinking your alcohol. I doubt that you're like combining it with food and having your alcohol that way. So remember, it's lowering in your inhibitions, it's manipulating your blood sugar, and you drink it, you don't chew it. So now that we understand how GLP-1 RAs work, now that we understand some very obvious things about alcohol, let me bring them both together 
coupling my experience being the owner of this HRT clinic and medical weight loss clinic, Steel Health and Hormone Center, my experience doing the medication, and again, this is kind of speculation part three. But GLP-1 RAs make it easier for you to maintain a calorie deficit. Again, it's working on all your systems to basically help you consume less food. And as a result, it makes it easier to be in a calorie deficit. And you need to be in a calorie deficit if you want to lose body fat, if you want to lose tissue, if you want to lose, if you want to lose weight, um, you want to be in a calorie deficit. So there's no magic here. It just makes it easier for you to maintain a calorie deficit. You're not bending the laws of thermodynamics, like somehow it's manipulating everything so you don't know. I mean, it's, it's simply making it easy to maintain a calorie deficit. And it makes it uh, very easy to avoid some of the bad things that you do that push you out of a calorie deficit. But if you're drinking alcohol that lowers your inhibitions and you normally, let's say, eat like shit when you're drunk, and then you're taking these GLP-1s, which makes you more resilient against the bad foods that you typically eat that push you out of a calorie deficit, you're battling it. Right, so you may be doing enough alcohol, not just from the alcohol itself, which has calories, but influencing your behavior in a way that pushes you out of a calorie deficit. Now here's some interesting research that people who take GLP-1s, they've noticed that they consume less alcohol for a lot of people. Um, there's even some researchers exploring the idea of using these GLP-1 RAs to help with alcohol use disorder. That's not why we're doing it. That's not kind of the scope of this video. Um, I noticed that it definitely helped with nicotine craving, but we're talking strictly weight loss, but just keep that in the back of your mind. But you can actually be battling the drug's effects on your central nervous system by using alcohol and eating more than you normally would have. Second thing has to do with blood sugar. And again, guys, this is speculation. But let's say alcohol makes you a little more hypoglycemic, and then this medication, let's say it could make you a little hypoglycemic. Now you have two things that are making you have that clammy, kind of shaky feeling, and intuitively you know you need to eat something. So again, now you're using it almost synergistically in a way that's not so good and causes you to eat and pushes you outside of a calorie deficit. And then the last thing has to do with mastication. So chewing. If you are consuming so many of your calories drinking, then you're foregoing a huge metric that helps you feel full, which is namely chewing the food and swallowing it. I can say this, this is my experience as a uh, personal trainer. I've been in the fitness industry for 10 years before I started Steel Health and Hormone Center. If I can get somebody to eat minimally processed whole foods, they tend to eat less. And I think it's because it's a larger volume of food. It's much harder to eat a thousand calories of, of chicken breast, that's very difficult to do. Much easier to eat a thousand calories of pizza. So all the junk food, if you will, is just so calorie dense. And the clean food, if you will, and I use those terms very loosely, tend to just take up more volume. So there's way more chewing, there's way more swallowing, and that tends to keep people fuller longer, in my experience, generally speaking. So you're completely foregoing that mastication, the chewing and swallowing when you're just drinking your calories. So again, you're battling this medication. It's trying to make you feel full longer, um, and then you're drinking alcohol, which really doesn't make you feel that full. I mean, maybe if you drink Guinness, that might be the exception, but <laughs> maybe not. So again, guys, this is just my experience. And in short, I noticed that people who tend to drink, I don't want to call it alcohol use disorder because that's not my place to say, but I will say that people who drink a lot of alcohol, whether it's recreationally or maybe they do have AUD, they don't have the same effects as people who don't. The people who get the best effects out of these medications, this is just my experience doing this and having over a hundred patients now, they use the medication in addition to healthy eating, in addition to exercise, in addition to moderating their alcohol intake. Those people, it's like one plus one plus one equals 10. They lose a ton of weight and they actually, their health markers improve dramatically. But people who just wanna take a shot and do nothing else, we've seen it work. I've seen it work, which is actually like, kind of crazy that people can do a lot of things wrong and still lose weight, but it doesn't work nearly as well as the people who avoid things, especially in my experience, especially alcohol.
So look, if you learned something in this video, do me a favor, like the video. If you're interested in content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My name is Alex Wallace. I'm the owner of Steel Health and Hormone Center. So if you're in Pennsylvania, especially if you're in the Pittsburgh area, go on our website, Steel Health and Hormone Center. I'll put it down below, center spelled R-E dot com. Fill out a contact form. We'll be in touch within 24 hours. We'll make sure that you are getting the white glove treatment and hormone replacement therapy and medical weight loss. So again, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.